Kali also is therefore the power of the shadow. The shadow is not somebody else's shadow. The shadow is my own being that I am not willing to encounter, that I would rather not see. The, the side of me that freaks me out, the side of me I would rather not acknowledge. To live with Kali is to rejoice in the cremation ground that is our everyday life. That's a very powerful metaphor because in our everyday life events happen. We separate from our loved ones and we separate from our own loved ego, my own being that has been negated from the rest of the world. The world we have created, not God, we are the gods to create the world of our desire. The world we have created is the world full of battles. You read the Durga, she is this power when men are helpless. Maybe I sometimes like to believe that this idea is more easy for women to experience than me being a man, but other times I feel like the way this um, power has been denied for so long that uh, uh, maybe sometimes we are not <coughs> even be willing to accept that divinity within the power that is within, the light that is within us. We can refabricate and reconstitute reality of our liking. Freedom is our fundamental being and it is not for someone to take away from us. <coughs> 